in at this time of, of social distance and, and, and uh, um, cocoon and all of that, like, we have to look for alternative ways to, to do these things. And, uh, by law, or by direction of the government, but we're not supposed to go more than two kilometres from our home. But I suppose if we were to leave our home any day and travel two kilometres, in, in the, the parish of Boris would even see a lot. So, what we're going to do is we want to point out a few of these things, tell a few little stories about it that we hope will entertain you. And, uh, uh, you know, places of interest, stories of interest, uh, all pertain to Boris Lee. And uh, we have a little presentation here, a number of slides that depict what we're doing and uh, Trace is going to read a few little bits and pieces uh, uh, relative to, 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 to what we're showing. Uh, Boris Lee and Glen Keane, we were, we were, we were Glen Keane before we were Boris Lee and for a while we were Glen Keane in age. Uh, to that was uh, rectified, I think, by, by uh, a father Bowen that was here back in 1802. Uh, he met us an entity of ourselves again. And uh, you can see the, 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 the early photograph of Glen Keane and the, the gateway into it. You know, one most historic lady has, not only to create, but in, in all of Ireland. You know, there a number of years ago, we had a full day of pageantry and uh, reenactment and telling the stories, the various stories uh, um, related to the place. You know, and, uh, you know, one of those memorable days, of course. So, that's what I talk about. And, so this, this is our constituency, it is. So, as, I suppose the, the, the castle in, in, in Borussia, the, the Norman ascendancy, the, the Borg seized uh, uh, the power. You know, and when the Normans came to build the castles, the Borgs, the, the Borg family came to Borussia. And it, it really, uh, the, the, the castle is the centre of Borussia. You know, the castle consisted of a number of towers with a, a, a burgess. Moore Borges surrounded, and that's where Boris, 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 B O R R E S, and uh, that has changed through the years and has, and, uh, has become um, now Boris uh, I Lee. And um, uh, I won't say too much about the castle because it deserves uh, a full talk and so on. But in, in um, 1840, 1856, um, a, a regiment of, of um, British surveyors came to the army, the British army came to Ireland to, to do a survey, do a civil survey, and to map the, the territory. And um, uh, in 1840, when Boris Lee, and in the way a man called John, o John O'Donnell, he was an uh, anti equilarian, and he collected a lot of stories, and he wrote little bits and pieces of observations that he made uh, as he passed through the, the various towns, villages and counties, and he wrote this little bit uh, about Boris and Lee, and uh, Tracy will read that for In the townland of Boris Land South and in the village of Boris and Lee are the remains of a strong squared castle, measuring 30 feet 8 inches by 20 feet on the inside. It has a square tower at the southwest and about 55 feet in height. The castle formed part of a brewery which has fallen into ruin since the Apostle of Temperance commenced his labours. So, the, the, the Apostle of Temperance found a matcher, so we, we can attack him or of course if there was anything we chose to do and we have an equivalent of Orphys or, or Guinness in Boris um, You know, it's amazing too, you know, the, the movement that was the Temperance movement. And, you know, the, the effect that I suppose it had on a, on a local economy as well. Cochinina Castle, where is Cochinina Castle? Um, it's on the border of, of um, uh, two towns lands, uh, Kidford Moor and Portalock. Now, today it would be in the parish of Drum, but back in um, uh, 16, 1646, in the, when, when um, um, the down sorting uh, was um, was done in Ireland. Uh, that was done by uh, the, the, to, to parcel out the land after the Cromwell invasion. And Clark uh, and was documented on that map, it was. And it was further documented then on the Sapphire's map of the 1840. Uh, in, in, uh, in 16, in, in 16 um, uh, 46, 
the north went with him, you know, that's that area of Gorta Lock, Kinsford Mowen, was the, 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 it was in dispute between um Boris and and, um, and 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 the parish of, of, of Inch, or the, or the parish of Kinford Mowen. Uh, so uh, today, you know, some of Kinford Mowen, as we know it, is, is in the, the parish of Boris and like, more of it is in the, the, the parish of Rome. So uh, Clock and Ada, Sure, sure enough people have heard of it, but still, um, a small little section that survives today, a small little bit of a stone wall. There is a castle called Clochanina, that is, Castle of the Wine, Castilium Vini, situated on high ground in the parish of Kilford Moon. And if we see there, that would be where Finns, Finns of Kilford Moon were their houses. And back here we take it to the road from from Summer Hill to, to uh, Gorton Lock, as you go to Barabaya. So, if you stop there, just after that castle again, you would see that that was a stone wall of Clocanina Castle. Uh, went forgotten by now. Uh, kind of back in uh, Church and Bay there, uh, on the entrance into Kelly's Sandpit. Uh, and when Kelly's built their office there a number, quite a number of years ago, they put up a stone there to mark that, you know, which, which uh, t t you know, thankfully, you know, it is a short of civil spirit, you know, but you know, remember, you know, it was a church there, people were buried there. Uh, the sappers mark, like I said, when the, the survey took place in, in um, from 1840 to 1856, the, the, the sappers, they, 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 there's a number of these found throughout the parish, and uh, these ones are on the pier of the gate going into uh, Twilee Church. Uh, there's another uh, one in uh, Gortina Barn and Lane, uh, and there's one on the door style that used to lead to the mass that uh, we should talk a little bit about presently, uh, going into what was, we used to call the doctor's field. So these are the mark elevations of the, the height above sea level. Now, this is the old chapel, and here shows the new chapel. Here we have the grave there, and here we've marked uh, the convent and the primary school, the, the garret's primary, primary school. Uh, the convent was where later the, the curate's house was, where Father Gorman and my friend Father O'Neill, uh, Father Paul Hill lived there, from my family, and uh, later became the, the veterinary centre, and uh, today to, to, to I side with us. Uh, the, 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 the Maxon Church there, that was the old Protestant Church of Boris it was. Uh, it's amazing that these maps are superimposed on each other, how accurate they were. Uh, you can see the, the, the ring forward. That's, be, behind that today would be the new convent. Uh, the, the fair green was in this area. And, and here you had a pound. A, a pound Stray horses and stray animals were taken put, in, put into the pound and you had to pay money to get them out. And the older map, the 1840 map, we were a little bit less by no iron. It was a, a pound in Chapel Street, just as, as you were going to the Cravery. And there was another one in, in Upper Street, uh, beside where Paddy Mahan's pub uh, was. So there was two back then, two, back, two pounds in the den. But it's, it's amazing that the, 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 the the similarity and the changes. If, if you look at Chapel Street in the lower map, you see the amount of houses on the left hand side and the right hand side going right up to, to, to the river. And uh, my father used to tell me about some of those uh, there were boring houses. And if you look through the 1911 census, 1901 census, you'll see uh, quite a lot of strange characters, you know, strange names and strange occupations, and, you know, flute players and magicians and all these kind of fellas. So, some and, and some interesting stories do have survived from, from, from those times. This is the modern map of the parish, and it gives a list of the town's lands. And if we start here at, at um, the bridge of Rathmai, that is the road that would take you to Coravah, right through the parish. And if you think of some, some of the town's lands, we have Rathmai or Fuller Shea. There's a small one there, it's called Shan Valley Cleary. Uh, this is Banner Road. People, people talk about the ones about it over, but Shank Valley Clearing was the name of the, 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 the place. Uh, 
and uh, was untrue and Fantan, Fantan North, Fantan South and Coracaya and uh, a bit true Rasta Moitini and down here, if you look down here, these will be the town stands of, of Cottage and uh, Coolberry, Dogstown. Uh, that general quality in the area. So all those still survive today in those towns and lands. And then in Glenkeen Cemetery there's a headstone <coughs> erected by uh, Andrew Rain of Bortolahan, in memory of his son Andrew. And uh, th th that begs the question where was Bortolahan? Uh, you know, the, the, like, like it's there in board print, you can see the the, the inscription there. And about Gorta Latin would be wide, wide gear. And the, we're familiar with the town land of Gortini. Gortini would be small gear. And we've heard the Gortini dawn. The dawn would, would be for dawn, long gear. So I, I, I would have felt that was somewhere in there. And I did discover after exactly where it was. I showed that presently. Knock a kid and Dr. Killen appears on the, 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 the births and the marriage rest, register for Morris Lee. So where was that? And there's a number of references to it. Uh, uh, in um, in, in um, around the 1880s, when, when, um, you know, when some families would begin to, to you know, we do fairly well in life. I mean, they, when they reached having an evaluation of ten pound, they would apply for a vote. And uh, a number of farmers, Kennedys, um, or Bryans, the, the two I can think of from Knocka Killen, they, they looked for that. So they, that appears in the archives of us. Uh, Knocka Killen would be the hill of the, the chapel. So the, in the Dorcas project of the 1940s, children wrote. Um, the stories that they were handed down for the generation before it was uh, Chris Young of Killer Mayenwood, later we have known as Chris Stanley. She wrote about the, 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 the church that was there in that area, that area between Killer Mayen and Coral Lane. Uh, and we see a little picture of the water in there, and even on a dry day, there's still water it is. And that was actually the entrance to uh, Gortelan. 